Hey, what's up, you guys? Listen, we're bringing you new tea on what is going on with Diddy and how his family is divided. If you guys don't know, Sarah Chapman and most of Diddy's offspring and paramours unfollowed Cassie as soon as news of the case hit, okay? In my head, I'm like, why y'all supporting them? But I guess it's to be expected. Except for one oddity, Misa Hilton Brim, right? Misa Hilton, the mother of his first child, Justin, she did not unfollow Cassie. She has been hinting for at least six months that something's coming down the road from for Diddy. We're going to get into that because apparently Misa had a heads up what was coming because apparently Diddy's lawyers reached out to a lot of people, including Roger Bonds, including Misa, including everyone to see who would be willing to testify. So Misa knew, but this is the oddest thing. Justin, Puffy's son with Misa, also still follows Cassie. And when I said that, I was like, yo, is this because of the DUI thing and the mom? And you know, Misa and all of them are all, Misa and Puffy, you know, they have a complicated relationship. Are you just taking your mom's side or is it something more? You guys, I did a little digging and I found something more. Y'all, Puffy is all, in my opinion, okay, he hasn't been proven guilty of anything. Let me just say, um, he hasn't had his day in court. This is just what the streets are saying, okay? But let me tell you what the streets are. Puffy for himself says, this is ludicrous. Everybody wants a cash grab, and he's the best father in the world. But let me tell you what the streets are saying. The streets are saying that Justin is taking Misa's side because Misa used to be Cassie and Justin witnessed a lot of it. Y'all, I went digging deep into court records. There's also this weird rumor that's been circulating that Justin isn't Diddy's son. Now, I know the bodyguard Gene Dill said he already he always doubted it, ada, 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 this, that, and a third. However, a lot of people said that Puffy was the one putting that rumor out there to punish Justin for not taking his side, or at the very least, for not falling in line. Now, here's the interesting thing, right? It wouldn't be the first time. Puffy is flexing his power right now, and he just pulled down Roger Bond's Instagram account. If you guys don't know who that is, that is the uh, head of security, his former head of security, that was named in Cassie's complaint that witnessed a bunch of it. Roger threatened to go on Instagram Live and give more names. His IG just got shut down. Let's also not forget that there are videos circling around a puffy acting a plum fool with Lori Ann Gibson throwing chairs at her. Michael Bivens is involved. There's all this stuff going on. Puffy, mysteriously, those videos cannot be shown. They get copyrighted on YouTube. I believe it still might be up on TikTok, but they are getting pulled down left and right. So what do you have, right? You have a situation where Diddy is not going out down without a fight. He is flexing his power. He is mobilizing things. Somebody that was that ruthless, if you believe Cassie, that low down, if you believe Cassie, that filthy, if you believe Cassie, is not that letting that money flow through his hands. Uh-uh. He's about to show everybody who he is to the core. And now that he don't even have to play like Mr. Good Guy, it's like mask off, right? However, Justin is not towing the line because... People are saying he remembers. Now, getting back to that paternity thing, I think it's 100% believable from what we've, uh, what the streets are saying about Diddy, that he would circulate these vicious rumors to punish Justin. However, I did some digging. Those rumors can't be true, but they open up even a bigger can of worms that make him look even more vile and disgusting. You know why those rumors can't be true? Because Misa Hilton Brim had to sue Puffy in child support, in court for child support, to get him to take care of the son. I know. So you know what it is with child support. Paternity had to be established, I'm assuming. He demanded paternity be established. He actually demanded paternity be established for all his children. And when I went into this, and I'm going to give you guys this tea, it paints the picture of basically, it seems like for over the last, what is it, 16 years, Puffy has systematically rebranded who he was, who he is, and the way he really views his children, family, and the women that give him. 
it makes you wonder at this point, Kim Porter, may she rest in peace. I'm sure she had her reasons. But what am I saying? I can't wonder why anybody covered him for him because everybody did. Because everybody did. But y'all sit down because Misa Hilton Brim even spoke on Kim Porter. She said Kim wasn't accepting chance for a while. She is giving up tea. And also the way Puffy, even though she was his first baby's mom, and basically when they were early in the game, she was the one supporting Puffy, helping finance his parties, helping do this, helping do that. When it came time for her to get child support, and Justin at this point was six years old, right? Puffy didn't want to pay nothing, told her you on your own, she had to sue them. He gave her the least amount of child support, a paltry $5,000. I'm going to get into the actual reports. And then on top of that, in part of the settlement, he was supposed to purchase a home for Justin and her to live in. Oh, he purchased the home, but then the home actually got foreclosed on because Puffy, as soon as he did it, stopped making payments. Why? Because Puffy couldn't have access to her. Misa would not allow Puffy in her bed and she said Puffy was hot about it. Y'all, let's get into this, okay? Let's look at this. Diddy's Daddy Duty, the exes in court for more kid support. This is published in 2004 from the New York Post, so baby, you know it's real. They said the Misa, the ex-girlfriend of rap mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs, went to New Rochelle Family Court yesterday to demand a $30,000 hike in child support payments for their nine-year-old son. This is one of the reasons why Justin and Diddy have a complicated relationship. And Diddy smiling on the carpet with his kids is beginning to look like the same way he smiled on the carpet with Cassie. They know that what that mofo is doing, but again, public image. Justin was nine years old. Justin remembers his mom's tears. He remembers his mom's um, uh, crying. He remembers the way his mom cried and the fights that started. Let's not forget that Gene Dill said that he laid his hands on Misa so bad she tried to crawl under a car to escape and she couldn't. Misa was got the worst of it. She was the original Cassie. Let's not forget that when he... Misa was actually cool with Kim Porter and Chance. I'm sorry, not Chance. Ooh. Kim Porter and Sarah. Let's not forget. And Misa, Justin saw the tears and wiped them from his mommy's face when she found out that he was messing with both of her friends and got them pregnant too. Okay, let's get into this tea. They said the fashion stylist, Misa Hilton Brim, said she's only been getting a mere $5,512 a month to look after their son, right? Justin, while... Misa's ex-good friend, Kim Porter, is raking in a sweet $35,000 a month deal in child support for their son, Christian. Now, this was $35,000 a month, okay, in 2024. This was printed January 1st, 2024. Let me just say this, right? Diddy has to be emotionally abusive because how is it that Kim is getting $35K a month? This is when they just had one child together. $35K a month. That was enough back in 2004 to buy her own little island and get away from him. But that's how you know how much he mentally beats people down. They said, um, Misa told the New York Post outside a family court, she met them and had a press conference. She had accidentally found out about the dizzy cat, the dizzying cast disparity from a friend who knows both her and Kim. So Kim and Puffy were keeping this a secret behind Misa's back. She says, it hurts deeply. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm very sad. I wouldn't have ever imagined it would come to this. The perception that Diddy projects outside the courtroom is quite different from the truth. He wants the public to have a percep perception of him. Sounds familiar. But the reality is, is that I'm here asking for money. She was quick to point out, Kim had to go to courts too. He just didn't offer it. However, it is messed up that Kim kept that away because here's the thing I always thought that all of Puffy's baby's moms and everything got along fantastically apparently everybody was just going along with the image because Kim Sarah and Misa had words all right she says that she is part of the fact that she said 
Um, Kim's child support settlement was sealed in Manhattan criminal court, but those familiar with the case said Diddy must take care of his son until he is 21 and provide for his education, medical care, and all his needs. Misa didn't get any of that. She said, um, she said so far, her and Diddy have tried to keep their public differences from their son. I hope he's pretty shielded from this. He's a strong kid. He knows that we both love him. She is puzzled that the blockbuster music producer, restaurateur, clothing designer, and magazine publisher was reluctant to give her son the same amount of child support as his other children. She said, that's the biggest mystery. He called, right? They have, this is um, Misa's attorney is saying, did he call Misa? They have private conversations, said the attorney, Brett Kimmel. He said, we have to talk about this. I don't want to go to court. But he also didn't want to pay that much. Justin saw all this. Oh, but it gets worse. Um, she said the 1996 decision to pay 5K a month. Ooh, that was low. And child support to his client was made before Puffy was Puffy. When he was Sean Combs and no one would have imagined how big he would get except maybe Diddy. She's not getting 70% of Diddy's income, which is the law. There's been a dramatic increase in the child's needs. He went on to say um, that Diddy was causing a rift between Misa and Justin because he treats Justin to a lavish weekends when the child goes to visit him. He said it's nothing for Justin to spend 40 k in a day. So when Justin comes back on Monday morning, he's back with his mom and there's no continuity. The boy is going from one lifestyle to another. Now, Diddy wasn't in court, but his attorney, Paul Colasco, declined to comment. Now, get this. In, 2000, uh, in 2003 court hearing, Diddy tried to prevent Misa's lawyer, famed divorce attorney, Raul Felder, from having access to his financial information. So this, this puffy that sacrifices everything to his children, super generous, he's not. He's not. It's just like Roger and Capricorn and even Cassie said. He gives you enough so that you look good on his arm. But if he cannot use you and if he does not have access to you, he does not care. Let's talk about that access because this is the real thing that just tripped me out. Let's talk about that access because you know that he screwed her over so bad that Misa literally got evicted. Uh, for her, she got evicted from her home. The bank foreclosed on the home. And it wasn't because Puffy didn't have the money. And it wasn't because Puffy wouldn't pay the money because he was paying that money to Kim. But here's the thing. Kim was giving him access. Puffy was allowed to lay in the bed, kick his hands up, do all this. Kim gave him access to her. And again, I'm not judging Kim. Clearly, she had to for whatever reason. But Misa refused to give him access. And Puffy punished her and Justin even goes so, so far as to foreclose on her house. Listen to this. This was planted by TMZ. I do think Puffy's people, because the wording of it is so cruel and crazy. TMZ said, this was in an article published um, February 16th, 2014. The gravy train appears to come to a screeching halt for the mother of Diddy's firstborn son. The bank is foreclosing on her home. According to new legal docs, Diddy purchased a swank three-bedroom, 3,215-square-foot house in Westchester, New York, back in 2003 for Misa Hilton Brim. This was part of their custody agreement. The mother of his first child, Justin. But for some reason, the bank stopped getting payments in 2010. When Misa cut off all access, Puffy stopped paying. According to legal docs, Puffy took out a $712,000 mortgage. As of 2010, he owed $622,518, a sum that's been accruing interest ever since. He did not pay anything after 2010. The bank now wants all their money or else it, went, it was going up for auction. Y'all, this is crazy. It's, it's, it's unbelievable, but there's more. Let's hear it out of Misa's own mouth. Why she thinks that Puffy is bitter, bitter Betty, right? And I 100% believe it. I 100% believe it. And also that whole thing of Kim and Misa and whatnot, yo, 
Kim really felt some type of way toward Misa. Now, I'm not saying they didn't grow to be friends, but back then when Cassie was around, wasn't nobody getting along, or at least Kim wasn't, because Kim was still trying to get back with Puffy, okay? That's when Kim and um, Cassie were in a tug of war. Let me know if y'all want a video about that, because there is some tea. They were even, he gave Cassie an engagement ring, Kim was like, it's fake news. Puffy had to be like, that's not an engagement ring. She's just my friend. Then um, Puffy got mad at Cassie and disinvited her for some premiere. And then uh, Cassie posted up on her. Uh, and they, oh, so anyway, Diddy and Kim were all like hugged up. And then Cassie and her friend posted on Instagram the same new day. Whatever, fake lies, reality, whatever. Basically saying it, that thing ain't good. Again, there's a lot of drama behind there. Okay, so get this. The, uh, this is from an interview with Angie Martinez. I swear, uh, I'm sorry, from, oh, I'm not Angie Martinez. This is Cherry Martinez. They said, Sean's first baby mama, Misa Hilton Brim, spoke to Power 105 radio jock Cherry Martinez about her relationship with Diddy's other baby mamas, Kim and Sarah Chapman. She's, she said that uh, they were, that Sarah's the sweet one, and Kim's the one that got an MFM problem with her. Listen to this. This is what she said on the radio, Misa Hilton. Sarah's really sweet, but Sarah and Kim do not get along. I get along with everyone, with both of them. Kim and I go back for years now. We were friends at one point. I was like, girl, you wanted him. You got him now, baby. That is talking about the way Kim uh, scooped up Puffy. But at the end of the day, she just didn't know that she was inviting the devil into her home, her head, and her bed, and her womb. So anyway, uh, Misa was like, baby, you wanted him. You got him now, baby. So now she's got to go through all the BS I had to go through back in the day. Sarah's been around as long as Kim. A lot of people don't know that. Puffy was cheating on me with both of them. This was over 15, 16 years ago. So we've all been around a long time. I joke around sometimes and I say, they're like my sister wives. I try to keep everything good. And we want Kim to accept chance. But she's not ready yet. But I accepted Christian. Get this. She went on to say on why she took Puff to court to increase her child support. She said the money is relative to him. People say, oh, it doesn't take that much. You don't know how much tuition is. You don't know what the lifestyle is every day. Our children, thank God, are able to have different extracurricular activities. They have tutors. They have programs that they're in. They have to have security, which is very expensive on a weekly basis. There's a lot of things that people don't take into consideration that, that this money goes to. We don't sit back and get a check and throw it up in the air and say, yeah, I'm going to do with this today. Let's also not forget the Misa Hill and Hill Brim when uh, Puffy first started. Like I said, she was the one that had all the money. Now get this, this is the real tea. She goes on to say uh, that she thinks Buff Puffy is still bitter and wants her. Y'all, still bitter and wants her. She said, yeah, he is still bitter. It's like, can I live? I have love for him and he's my family and I'm going to always support him and have his back. But when can you have everything? When you have everything sometimes and you don't have that one little thing, you are not used to that. That's so over. I'm not saying he's actively trying to pursue me, but I get a hard time sometimes. It's like, what's the problem? You think I'd be acting like that. I'd be the one acting like that. I stay out of your way. What wasn't going to happen for me before I went to court, but, but I'm sorry, but what wasn't going to happen to me before I went to court is because I'm not with you or sleeping with you. Kim's son is not going to get more than my son because of that. That's some BA-ness. Because if you could come and stay here and pop in and out when you wanted to, then it wouldn't be a problem. I'd have the money. So you're not going to put me at a disadvantage because we're, we're all broken up and you've moved on. Again, the beatings, the lies, the arguments. Misa really, okay? Misa really did a lot to cover up for Diddy. And at a certain point, like Jean Deal says, she was the Cassie. And it's funny how Justin might have been, been like, oh, you know, that's just my mom talking, blah, blah. But a lot of people are saying that after this mess, the Cassie stuff triggered him into thinking about all the stuff that he witnessed with his mom. They're saying it triggered him to realize that 
At the end of the day, he uses everybody around him because let's not forget that he got Justin off of the football team. Let's not forget that Diddy had dreams of playing football. I do believe Diddy is jealous and sabotages his children. They're also saying Justin is choosing to stand by his mom's side because after he got Diddy got him kicked off the football team, he promised that Justin would eventually take over Bad Boy Records. But then when all that stuff happened, um, uh, when all that stuff happened, that got shouldered. So he's like, you literally led me away from Harvard. Justin was accepted into Harvard. You led me into this. You led me into that. And now look what's happening. Man, I ain't with this. And he's standing by his mom because he's starting to see the monster never went anywhere. He was just the one that thought that, um, I don't know, that he had gone to sleep. Again, I do believe that this facade that he has about this family man and everybody gets along and all this. Puffy is a salesman. He knows the black love, black family, loving boyfriend, loving husband, loving... He knows it sells. But baby, Justin is sticking by his mommy. And Misa is sitting there waiting for her popcorn, eating her popcorn, waiting for his downfall. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.